There is now yet another online threat to your security. It is growing rapidly, targeting people in places you might not expect. It is called ransomware. Maybe you've been hit by it. It's what hackers use to steal valuable information on your computer and then literally hold it for ransom, demanding that you pay them to give you your information back. You'd naturally expect banks, hospitals, even the rich and famous to be the obvious targets, and they are. But Andrea Day found that a recent target is an unusual one, a NASCAR team. An up-and-coming NASCAR team just days away from the big race when the crew chief's laptop started going haywire. I got a message popped up that said my files have all been encrypted. All of his critical files locked up. The team had been hit with a ransomware attack, a virus that kidnaps the data on your computer while criminals hold it for ransom. Panic set in for me not knowing exactly how bad it was. And the panic is real. According to the FBI, attacks like this are skyrocketing, hitting towns, businesses, schools and hospitals, with law enforcement virtually powerless to stop it. This is a big threat. Uh, millions and millions of dollars have been, already been lost and more will be lost. Special Agent Will Bales manages ransomware investigations nationwide for the FBI. He says while it's tough to detect where the virus comes from, it can get into your computer through an email attachment. And once you've opened the attachment, your computer is infected. Literally locked down unless the criminals release a code or key. There's no way, just because of technology today, uh, of decrypting those files without that key. The hackers demanding payment, sometimes millions in Bitcoin, internet currency that can't be traced. The ransom note popped up on Dave Winston's screen. Your files are encrypted. Uh, the only way to get it back is to pay a ransom. They wanted the payment within 24 hours. The team hunkered down in a room to figure out what to do. At risk, thousands of hours of data worth millions. Set up information, wind tunnel data, uh, past track data, all of that is priceless. I would have done almost anything to get that information back. They finally decided to pay the ransom using a special Bitcoin ATM. And after hours of waiting. It was huge relief when we got the key. Pretty much everything came back. But Bale says even if you do pay, there's no guarantee. And they now know that you are susceptible and want to pay them. Which is why the FBI advises against paying any ransom. This could encourage them to continue and target more people down the line. Already this year, he says thousands of victims have been reported to the FBI. And worldwide, the numbers top hundreds of thousands. It's extremely difficult to investigate ransomware, mainly because of the methods in which the, the bad guys are using. They are anywhere in the world uh, because they're infecting anybody in the world. So what can you do? Well, according to the feds, having a secure backup is critical. That way you can just restore all the files on your own and never open an email attachment unless you know exactly what it is. I'm Andrea Day for Nightly Business Report.